There are two forgotten social security claiming strategies, and here to talk to me about one of those strategies, voluntary suspension, is Dave Freitag of Mass Mutual. Dave, what do we need to know about voluntary suspension? Well, Bob, that's another one of those really interesting opportunities that exists with the Social Security Code for, again, for a long time. There's a dedicated web page actually on socialsecurity.gov that talks about voluntary suspension. Uh, and that, again, only exists at full retirement age or later. It's one of those unique opportunities when once you start it into a filing strategy, you can actually change it. Normally, it's very difficult, but this is one that gives you a little bit of a window of leverage on the system that says, okay, I could adjust and make some adjustments to my flight path here. And, and what you essentially do is say, I, I would like to stop my benefit payments. Hold your hand up. And that particular voluntary suspension would say, okay, we'll stop those benefit checks. That's the good news. Why would anybody do it would be the question that I think we should have. And the answer is because Bob or Mary has figured out that if they delay past full retirement age, they can earn those legendary delayed retirement credits, 8% per year simple interest. And they take a look and go, hmm, in today's environment, that sounds like a pretty attractive idea. So they could hold their hand up if they delayed their benefits for a year, that means they would get an 8% increase the next year if they started the benefits up again. So voluntary suspension is another way of adding flexibility to the claiming process. That claim uh, is able to be basically put on hold, frozen if you will, for a year, two years, three years, all the way up to age 70. You would never want to go any farther than that because there's no advantage to go past age 70. But at the end of the day, voluntary suspension is a unique way of again, maybe correcting a decision made in haste or maybe without good information. Mm. Now we've got better information. Those delayed retirement credits are powerful. I have good longevity in my family. This makes sense for the long term. So let's go ahead and earn some of those 8% per year simple interest increases for the rest of my life. And the, the interesting thing too is that there's an actual page on socialsecurity.gov about that strategy. Again, a lot of people have forgotten about. So it's just everybody's, I use a saying, uh, in social security modeling that one size fits one. You can't apply a general umbrella to every decision and every different individual. So this allows that individual to say, oh, let me adjust the trajectory uh, and make sure we get it right for them. Mm. It's one of my favorite laws, Dave, the law of one. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly correct. <laughs> like Thanks it. again. Sure. <laughs>